will see that I was super excited a few nights ago. Look what I got. I got from the new and up and coming Disney real life movie Aladdin the Princess Jasmine doll here which actually sings and the based on Will Smith since it's the actor who's doing it Genie doll here. Now both are really really cute and um, from a previous haul, a big Disney haul I did a, a few weeks back, you'll know that Jasmine is actually a doll I don't have a lot of until that haul. I think I got four or five do <laughs> dolls in it. But um, yes, yeah, so I'm super excited to add this one to the haul and I'm super excited to open her up and see how they adapted it. Let's bring up the box and have a look. Okay, so there isn't much artwork on the sides, it's just clear plastic. So on the back it says Disney Aladdin. Now I thought that um, Jasmine was meant to be 16 years old. The actress is a beautiful lady here, but she does not look 16 to me. I'm just going to be honest. This looks, this looks like a 20 year old, not a 16 year old. I'll put the name of the actress down the bottom. Um, I'm not too familiar with her. Jasmine is a beautiful, headstrong princess, determined to have a say in who she marries and how she lives her life. Well, that's in character with the Disney animated version of her. Gorgeous girl. Let's open up the doll and have a look. Alright, the first thing to note is behind her is an instruction booklet. Uh, seems to be like this, Disney Aladdin. And then you open it up and it's all about the battery information. Uh, turn her on. Turn, how to turn her on and off at the back to make her sing and it looks like you press a little button here at the front which it also shows on the front of the box it has a test me mode basically to make her sing and it looks like she takes three batteries oh three little batteries oh she's expensive to make her sing down the side leg here which you need to open with a screwdriver so kids ask your parents if she needs battery changes Okay, here she is out of the box. She is basic articulation, meaning she can move her head. There we go. I knew it could move. It was just being a bit stubborn there. She can move her arm up and down. It does not come out sideways. There is no elbow movement. There is no wrist movement. She has leg movement to go back and forward, but she does not, she cannot bring it out to the side. She does, however, have knee movement and the knee can actually rotate, which is so fascinating. Imagine if they'd given her also that ability in her elbow, the posing you could have on her. So I'm not sure why they gave her such a movable knee, but then neglected the elbow area and the arms are one of the best things to pose when you're taking dolly shots. Now she comes with a bare feet but however in her case she does have shoes which I'll bring up soon. Dressed she has a painted on bodice. I'm not a fan of painted on bodices on dolls, never have been. Um, Jasmine, why did she need a full painted top? I mean one of the signature things with Jasmine is her beautiful area here across her chest it's not a bra you know it's a cloth piece across the chest which is very in keeping with you know quite a few of the belly dancers there's a belly dancer group here if they wear them i'm not ex exactly sure of what the name the exact piece is called but if you know let me know in the comments below um i can't understand why they didn't give her these beautiful beautiful material leggings that look almost like a dress, but they're not. Signature Jasmine kind of style. And then gave her this almost casual looking t-shirt. <laughs> I don't know that one. I can't answer that one. But it could be because of the electronic side of her, but they could have built that into her chest. I've seen it on other dolls. I can't understand why they didn't do it on this one. Let's bring her up and have a close look. So here is her face next to the actress's face. A pretty good adaption actually. I think they got the lips right on. The nose is quite prominent. She has quite a proud nose. You know, you got, they got the proud, I think it's called, my mum used to call it the tip, the proud peacock tip of the nose. She has a proud peacock tip on the nose, if you look that way. So her nose is quite prominent. And then her eyes. I think the actress has more saucy eyes, don't you? 
I think the actress is, is winning in the eyes and that her eyes are a bit more alluring, a bit more, almost Bratzis, you know, like they, they're flirting with their eyes. And But if she has friendly eyes, uh, the eyebrows, yep, very dark and their eyebrows. Now, the earrings are almost a complete match, except for these ones are full gold. Hers are gold with blue in, so it would have taken just a second to paint that in, Hasbro. I don't understand why that wasn't done. <laughs> And the same with the crown. The little jewels, if they'd been blue, very, very good match to the crown. But, I mean, you can do that yourself. If you really, really want it to be authentic, it doesn't show her necklace here, though I'm guessing from the earrings and the crown being so exact that the, ear, that the necklace is pretty spot on. Now, here we go. See, this looks almost like flesh, like see-through. It's not, but here it is, I don't know muck color <laughs> so this is disappointing the bodice is disappointing there is a white strap down here it's pretty i'm not gonna lie and say it's ugly it's pretty but it's just something that i wish that they had taken into with the cartoon character and made it a little more jasmine-ish <laughs> but considering her face is so gorgeous no problem now the hair <coughs> excuse my Excuse my voice today. The hair has these gorgeous little metal clips in it. It is done in a long ponytail, very basic, with these clips down. They don't have this on her hair. It is just done with plastic ties. And very, very basic. So if you are a secondhand doll restorer, like I can be at times, um, this is going to be super easy. <laughs> super easy. Just brush it down and put it in two ties you're done compared to some of the swirly whirlies <laughs> that us ladies deal with you'll know what I'm speaking about if you know if you've ever tried to do like a, a restyle of Bratz hairdo and it's like fancy pants oh my goodness anyway getting back to Jasmine since this is what it's about look at these beautiful pants they have oh 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 if the camera wants to get in focus they have sparkles all over them. I'm hoping the light brings that all up. Sparkles and then like peacock feathers running down. Oh my goodness gracious me. They are beautiful. And then as I said, her legs are ultra, ultra poseable. It's so gorgeous. You can bend them, you can swirl them. Just beautiful, beautiful. Down to her bare feet here. So it almost looks like she's wearing a dress, but she is not. That's those beautiful, I don't know what you'd call them, bubble ends on the pants. <laughs> so we'll bring up the shoes and have a look. Here are the golden shoes she came with. Lots of detail in them, so they are not basic. You can see all the little detailing. I'll try and get in the camera as best as I can. Aren't they gorgeous? And they almost, they, they, they look like something Princess Jasmine would wear. Just gorgeous. Let's get them on her feet. Here they are on. They were so easy to put on. Some doll shoes you have to fight with. These ones were so easy. They just slipped right on. They're not loose at all. I actually think I prefer her with them on. So on the back we have, it said to press it up to one, I'm sure. Are you ready to test her out? I might talk part way through the song if it's a long song. You know, sometimes these things, they get flagged on copyright. <laughs> Don't flag me, please. It, YouTube, it is just a song on the doll. Sounds like the cartoon character. Oh my goodness, is this a so whole song that she's singing? My daughter's going to burst in the room at any second and sing. <laughs> okay, it, it's not <clears throat> the whole, it's not the whole song. I actually thought, oh my goodness, it's <laughs> but it is quite a lengthy one. Sorry for talking about it, but here are the speakers at the back. 
So when you're doing it, make sure your kids aren't holding it like this and going, Mommy, why is Jasmine so muffled? <laughs> okay, comparing Jasmine to previous Jasmine dolls, I did not have, I don't think I had any Jasmine dolls until recently on a, a beautiful doll haul I got. You can instantly tell this is Princess Jasmine just from the face. Give it a profile shot. So again, if you look at the main doll, I can't. I'm I'm stressing that the nose is quite dominant on her face, where it's quite subdued on this one's face. The eyes are actually more dominant, which is what I find on most Disney dolls. The eyes are more dominant than anything else on their face. They're not overdone. They're just that's what the focus is on. Whereas on her, it. I'm drawn to the nose and the lips, these beautiful pouty lips. I love, love, love her lips. And I feel that the eyes are uh, more basic. I guess basic is the word. Let's have a look with another Jasmine doll. So again, uh, this is the Disney Store Jasmine doll, I believe, um, who has all the articulation. The eyes are the dominant feature on the animated character with the nose and the lips being more subdued. I think that's quite, I think that's interesting that they really focused on the noses. Now on the genie, I don't know if I said it before, but the genie, the nose is really dominant too. So it seems they've really gone for a realistic nose type on these characters as opposed to, noses seem to be forgotten a bit. I think they make them as small as possible because they want those eyes to shine. <laughs> Beautiful doll, very realistic on the nose area. Let's bring the genie up. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, Jasmine was beautiful, but Jeannie is amazing. He is a beautiful boy doll, and that's coming from someone who generally does not collect boy dolls. If you've watched a few of my videos, I'm very meh <laughs> about boy dolls when I find them super cheap, and if they're cute, they're not. You know, if they go on on clearance, I'll buy them. It's very rare for me to gush over a boy doll, and I know that I'm a Will Smith fan, but even if you're not, he is a gorgeous male doll. Now he has this paper material unfortunately so you're gonna to have to be very mindful of kids undressing and redressing him. This stuff tends to deteriorate easily. It just it gets breaks and it's very very hard to sew. You can't really sew it back together. You've got to kind of glue it and do all sorts of little things to it. It's not, it's not easy to mend is what I'm trying to say from my experience. It is um, however material unlike her who had the um, she had the molded on bodice he has molded on legs and feet now I'm actually okay with that and I'll explain why to me the genie character is his essence is him everything is him he, he changes himself at least I don't know in the real life version but in the animated version whatever he masters himself into is basically his body so I'm okay with that because I, I can look at it as part of his body he has these braces on which are obviously his shackles um, for his master so they've made sure that those are quite dominant and featured coming around to the back it's very basic at the back it is his outfit is held on by Velcro and there is all your printed on where Hasbro and where Disney <laughs> on the back there his legs his articulation is his legs go up and down he cannot move them to the side he does not have knee movement like Jasmine his arms can go up and down they cannot move out this way and his head can move it is quite stiff but his head can move isn't that cool? Let's bring him up and have a close-up look. Isn't he gorgeous? I love his hair pulled up into this tie, this golden tie here. And then he has a little, like, braid coming down, which is held to with some twine here. He has an earring in this ear. Little gold earring. It's actually movable. <laughs> And look at this, this goatee coming down into a tie here. It's beautiful. And his nose, again, very dominant. Look how thick it is and bulbous. Kind of a bit bulbous. But his eyes actually stand out. And I think it's because of the eyebrows and the lack of hair. 
yeah I think his eyes stand out but his nose again is very dominant on his face especially in those profile I try to I'm not sure if the camera's bringing it up but it is quite noticeable <laughs> He has a gold chain coming down around his neck here. Then as I said, it is this paper like material. So you just gotta be careful with it. Um, it's in my experience very hard to fix because it frays and it goes all white at the seams, which is weird because the other parts under normally aren't printed on it. It is however printed rather nicely, showing all the detailing and his shackles on the side. Here is his hands. I am a big fan of animated hands, so his hands are quite basic and just together. And then going down to his legs here, and I'll show the, the articulation. So they're quite big because they're meant to be. Then down to his twirled up feet seas and bootsies here. This is definitely my favorite. As I said, I've seen the Aladdin doll. And I have also seen the basic Jasmine doll. She looks very similar to this, just that she's in purple. Very, very happy with these dolls. I had to have them as soon as I saw them. And as I said, they had two others as well. The Aladdin doll, which I may look at. I was not taken with Aladdin's face. But I may look at after bringing out the genie again. Jasmine, the basic doll, was very similar to this one, other than she was in a purple, which we don't really, <laughs> you know, maybe we'll change your mind after the real life movie. But for us, Jasmine's signature colour is gold and blue. And check out, I've moulded all there so she can show, and I've got a poopsie standing in for Raja. <laughs> I hope they bring out a Raja doll set, because I want a Raja in this line a very realistic Raja here's genie back up very very happy if you love Disney dolls please give this video a <coughs> thumbs up if you love toys in general please subscribe we love to open toys here and we love to share and we will definitely be looking into more of these movie dolls if they bring them out thanks so much for watching bye bye